Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Prehistory in the Dark. I am your host, Darkness the Curse. And before we begin, as always, thank you so much to my generous patrons and my channel members from our sister channel over at History in the Dark. You are the reason why this content remains massive. And today, we are going to discuss what may be the largest marine reptile in the history of life on Earth. This is the story of the Shastasaurus. It's still a common misconception that marine reptiles are, in fact, dinosaurs. And they're not. At all. Marine reptiles are just that, reptiles that were adapted to live in the water. Dinosaurs are an entirely different category of life form, but because they lived about the same time, people often construe them as being the same thing. It's a similar case to flying reptiles like Pteranodon. Those aren't dinosaurs either, but people assume they are because they lived at the same time as dinosaurs. In any event, much like there were many large creatures on land in the form of dinosaurs, there were absolutely enormous things in the water. And to be realistic, there are still absolutely enormous things in the water. The blue whale is the largest known creature to ever exist on planet Earth, period, and it's alive today. We live alongside what we know as the largest creature in the history of life on the planet. Which is kind of mind-blowing when you think about it. The blue whale is, of course, a whale and a mammal. But marine reptiles were reptiles and lived millions of years ago. The one we're talking about specifically is the Shastasaurus, a genus of very large ichthyosaurs, which is Greek for fish lizard, which is actually pretty spot on if I'm being frank. These creatures thrived in the Mesozoic era and were the dominant force in the Earth's oceans right alongside plesiosaurs, which are also marine reptiles but different from ichthyosaurs. Ichthyosaurs look a little like dolphins if they were more lizardy, and tend to have long snouts with razor-sharp teeth for eating fish. They generally had four flippers, and it's thought they evolved from a species of reptile that used to be land-based, but then moved back to the ocean at a certain point. And although they thrived for millions of years, much like the dinosaurs, by the end of the late Cretaceous period, they would all be extinct. And it's believed this was due to a scarcity in their food sources. But long before that happened, in the middle and late Triassic period, there was the Shastasaurus. An ichthyosaur that was a massive piece of work. Shastasaurus pacificus is known from California, and they were huge, possibly measuring up to 7 meters, or 23 feet between its flippers. Another, Shastasaurus liange, may have grown up to 27 feet long, or 8.3 meters. And there's one more that was even bigger, but this one isn't confirmed to be a Shastasaurus quite yet. Shastasaurus sicaniensis was absolutely enormous, 69 feet in length, or 21 meters. Again, it's not known if they were Shastasaurus quite yet or not, but they had many things in common with the other two, and they were easily the largest. Their size would put them quite close to that of the modern blue whale, which again is the largest creature ever to inhabit the Earth. Shastasaurus sicaniensis may have been very close to that size. And in case you're worried about a megalodon situation, where these things may have eaten us, the diet of Shastasaurus in general is actually very debated upon, as their snouts were not like most ichthyosaurs. Most ichthyosaurs were clearly designed for a fish diet, with again those long narrow snouts with sharp teeth, but Shastasaurus had a much more blunt snout, indicating that they were eating something else entirely, possibly soft-bodied cephalopods. Some scientists have suggested they may have also been suction feeders, like large whales, but the ichthyosaur jaws don't fit this profile, so it's not believed this was the case. It's hard to say either way, but in any event, they were absolutely enormous. And whether Sicaniensis is a Shastasaurus or not, they were definitely the largest of the marine reptiles as we understand them. But since their diet was on very small things that were not, you know, human-shaped, it's possible that if we existed in the Triassic era, we may not have had to worry about them. We would have had to worry about a lot of the other source. Probably. Maybe. Who knows. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fond farewell.